Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Trooper, you go out and you look and try and rescue others and take care of them. And that's what the troopers do. They're taking care of us every day. And, uh, and you're always in harm's way. Sometimes you think it's going to be violence. You never know what it's going to be. Could be flooding. First night at 11, that developing news. The entire state is in mourning after Connecticut State Police Sergeant was killed in the line of duty. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Shante Passmore. Sergeant Brian Mole was swept away by floodwaters this morning in Woodbury. He was considered a veteran of the force. And Eyewitness News reporter Sharon Johnson is live from State Police in Litchfield, where Sergeant Mole was part of Troop L. And Sharon, what are you learning right now? Well, Shantae, Sergeant Mole was a 26 year veteran on the force and he was well known in the state police community and his passing is resonating with so many people across the state and even the country. Condolences continue to pour in for his family tonight. As the sun sets in Middletown, a flag is flown at half staff in front of Connecticut State Police headquarters. And yards away from where Sergeant Brian Mole last served his community, a memorial of flowers and flags grows on a bridge at Judson Avenue in Woodbury. The state honoring Sergeant Brian Mole tonight, a well-respected veteran who lost his life this morning. Uh, he was well-respected in, in the work that he performed. He was always professional as a trooper. And even as a supervisor, he was the type of individual that would back up his own platoon of troopers on calls. Sergeant Mole was on duty this morning in the area of Jack's Bridge Road by Three Rivers Park in Woodbury. CSP says he called for help as the area was flooding and his vehicle was in water. They located the vehicle, made entry into the vehicle with debris, and they did not locate the sergeant within the vehicle. CSP says they found him hours later and he was rushed to Yale New Haven, but passed away en route. He was out trying to protect us, whether it were a call, whether it were checking on the river. He would have been at home with his family hunkering down like most, most of us were doing last night. Connecticut State Police, departments across the region and state leaders are all mourning Mole's death tonight. But today we stand together as one as the family, with the troopers family and all the troopers together as one. Sergeant Mole first joined the force in 1994 as a trainee. He's been assigned to several troops during his 26 year tenure. You pray to God that every single one of them comes home and returns to their family. Uh, a line of duty death is going to be very, very difficult for the state of Connecticut. And Sergeant Mole is the 25th trooper to die in the line of duty in the department's history. Live in Litchfield tonight, Sharon Johnson, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.